which is about immigration. Currently, several thousand people are trying to make their way through Mexico from Honduras with an eye toward reaching the United States. And this migrant caravan has poured jet fuel on the uh, national immigration debate. Michigan, of course, has a rich cross-session of uh, immigrant communities. Much of the debate has, of course, centered on illegal immigration, but we've come to find this year that right now, Michigan has seen a 75% decrease in legal refugee arrivals. Um, in fact, it's been a national record low this year on the, uh, across the, the country. I would like your thoughts on immigration and whether Michigan should be a sanctuary state. Senator Whitmer. Well, I understand the anxiety that we all feel about this issue because we have a broken immigration uh, system in this country and it's not working. We need leadership out of Washington, D.C. to step up. But here's what I know. Michigan was built by immigrants. The Finns came to the UP, the Dutch went west, Middle Easterners came to Dearborn, all for opportunity and a good life right here in Michigan. And it is a strength that we have. But what I can tell you is that as a mom, as a Michigander, as an American, I was outraged and heartbroken when I saw the Trump administration rip children away from their parents. That is not who we are. Those are not Michigan values. As governor, I will stand up to an administration that does that. I will work to make sure that we protect jobs and that this is a place where people come to to make a good life again. But I will not stand silently by when the Trump administration separates kids and their parents. Uh, Attorney General, uh, you, know, you have a minute on this. You know, I met with uh, a new American, someone who just received his citizenship, and it made you feel so proud to hear his pride when he shared with me that now he's an American citizen. And our immigration policy in America needs to be hopeful and welcoming, but you got to play by the rules, and you have to make sure we protect our border. And when I'm governor, there'll be no sanctuary cities in Michigan. Now, Senator Whitmer, uh, if he, she has her way, she'd make Michigan a sanctuary state. She wants to disband ICE. Her uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor Choice Garland Gilchrist wants to uh, eliminate the Department of Homeland Security. And those are extreme positions. They're reckless. And Garland Gilchrist as well uh, wants to, has had these anti-Semitic, anti-Israeli tweets, these pro-Hamas rants, uh, and Hamas is a terrorist organization. And choosing that first decision shows bad judgment on Senator Whitmer's part. When I'm governor of Michigan, there'll be no sanctuary cities. And Gretchen Whitmer, if she has her way, Michigan to be a sanctuary state. That's extreme. That's just not, will not happen in Michigan. Senator Whitmer. Don't listen to that nonsense. This is a desperate campaign that is flailing to stay alive. Here's the fact of the matter. If you watched the news tonight, you saw hatred. You saw fear. You saw terrorism. For this guy to stand here and call me extreme and imply all sorts of things is ridiculous. And that's the kind of rhetoric has that has created this ugly environment in this country. I am running against that too. I'm running against bad roads and schools that are falling behind, but I'm running against this nasty rhetoric that is coming out of Bill Shooty and the Trump administration. And that is time. A half minute for you now, Attorney General. And she never answered the question. Senator Whitmer did not answer the question about sanctuary cities. I'm opposed. If she had her way, Michigan would be a sanctuary state. She wants to disband ICE. I think that's reckless and extreme. Her uh, running uh, proposed a running mate, Garland Gilchrist, wants to eliminate the Department of Homeland security. That's extreme. That's way out of the mainstream. That's why this race, which is so close, it's a jump ball. I'm going to win this because people don't want Michigan to be a sanctuary state.